हेलो एवरीवन दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट द नेलेट 2021 साइंटिफिक असिस्टेंट क्वेश्चन पेपर सॉल्यूशन सो इफ यू हैव गिवन द टेस्ट देन दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर यू एंड आल्सो इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट 2022 देन फॉर यू आल्सो दिस वीडियो इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज देर आर द मेनी क्वेश्चन आई विल बी सॉल्विंग दैम विद द शॉर्टकट्स एंड विद विच यू कैन सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम विद इन अ सेकेंड सो वॉच दिस वीडियो एज अ प्रैक्टिस सेशन एंड ट्राई द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ऑन योर ओन एंड इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व दैन यू कैन प्रोसीड विद माई सोल्यूशन so and and one more thing is that uh, i won't be dealing the problem which are not in the gate syllabus because i'm good at uh, gate syllabus only so let us start so with in this question paper i'll be starting with the technical part first so technical part is starting from the question number 43 so let us start from question number 43 so the 43 question is from the control system on the root locus topic no uh, uh, routh uh, राउथ टेबल टॉपिक ओके सो द नंबर ऑफ रूट्स इन द लेफ्ट हाफ ऑफ द एस प्लेन फॉर ए सिस्टम हैविंग करेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन सो वी आर गिवन अ करेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन इज एस टू दी पावर थ्री प्लस फाइव एस स्क्वेयर प्लस सेवन एस प्लस थ्री क्वेश्चन टू जीरो एंड दिस वी आर आस्ट द नंबर ऑफ रूट्स इन लेफ्ट हाफ ऑफ एस प्लेन सो बाई लुकिंग एट इट यू कुड सॉल्व इट दैट दिस पोलिनोमियल इज आर एच पोलिनोमियल बिकॉज देर इज सिम सेम साइन फॉर ऑल द कॉफिशियंट पॉजिटिव 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 सो ऑल आर पॉजिटिव दैन इट इज आर एच पोलिनोमियल एंड आर एच पोलिनोमियल से देर इज नो राइट हैंड रूट ओके सो नो राइट हैंड रूट इफ नो रूट इन राइट हैंड दैन ऑल द रूट्स विल बी इन लेफ्ट हैंड सो दिस इज द थर्ड ऑर्डर इक्वेशन दैन नंबर ऑफ रूट्स इन एल एच एस विल बी थ्री सो ऑप्शन विल बी डी डी इज करेक्ट और यू कुड सॉल्व इट बाई मेकिंग आर एच टेबल ऑल्सो यू कुड डू दिस नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आई वी गोइंग फॉर द फोर्टी फाइव सो द फोर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन इज फॉर इनपुट एस वन एंड आउटपुट एस टू द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ म्यू लॉ कंपाउंडिंग इज करेक्टली एक्सप्रेस एज सो द क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम the communication so we are asked the relationship of input and output in case of mu law compounding so mu law compounding this compounding is a technique or for quantization in case of the non uniform quantization so the direct relation you should know is that uh, this is output input relationship output input relation is that output equals to non linear relation is this that is 1 plus mu mod of input divided by ln 1 plus mu so uh, if we check the options then uh, d option will be correct where s1 is input in the options we have and s2 is output so d option will be correct with this relation so the next question we have is uh, question number 46 so the question number 46 is uh, the open loop transfer function of a closed loop control system we are given is g h of s is k s plus 1 divided by s s plus 2 and s plus 3 and we are asked the centroid of the asymptote in root locus so we know the formula of centroid is the summation of real part of poles minus summation of real part of zeros divided by number of pole uh, i'll call it has b uh, will which will tell number of poles minus number of zeros okay so if you see in the old tf uh, we have poles at 0 uh, minus 2 and minus 3 so we have number of pole equals to 3 and 0 is at minus 1 so number of zero we have 1 so sigma if we calculate the uh, summation of real part of pole with 0 uh, minus 2 minus 3 minus summation of real part of zeros uh, we have only one zero that is at minus 1 divided by summation of pole uh, number of pole is 3 not summation it is number of pole 3 minus 1 so it will be minus 5 plus 1 by 2 it will be minus 4 by 
that is minus 2 so the centroid coordinate will be minus 2 comma 0 so the correct option is uh, C option okay so next question will go for uh, 47 this is mathematics question uh, we are given integration minus 1 to 1 and 0 to root of 1 minus x square and uh, x square plus y square to the power 3 y 2 and dy dx so this is the question uh, it will be difficult if you go for with the cartesian uh, coordinate system and uh, we will go by a uh, uh, polar coordinate system so for this uh, let us see uh, first what it is so this is x uh, this is y and uh, we are given x is so uh, one thing is that uh, this this limit is a uh, function of x so this limit has to be of y so y we are given is 0 to root 1 minus x square so basically this is a circle x square plus y square equals to 1 and y is we are given that uh, root 1 minus x square so it is from 0 to uh, so the circle would be uh, like this of radius 1 uh, this is 1 comma 0 this is minus 1 comma 0 and uh, it is 0 comma 1 and it is uh, 0 comma minus 1 so circle uh, with center of 0 comma 0 and the radius is 1 so uh, we are given y from 0 to root or uh, 1 minus x square so this is uh, this is our uh, okay this is uh, y equals to 0 and uh, this is y equals to 1 so upper half uh, we are interested in we have limit y equals to 0 to so this is the part we are interested in because x we are given minus 1 to 1 so in x we have to go minus 1 to 1 and in y we have to go 0 to root 1 minus x square so this is the part we are interested in this is area so for this if we want to convert it in the polar uh, we know x equals to uh, r cos theta and y equals to r sin theta if you put uh, we get dy dx is equals to r dr d theta and what about the range of r and theta so r we know uh, 0 to 1 r will be uh, 0 to 1 and theta will be since we are interested in this part only so theta from here theta equals to 0 to will go up to minus 1 comma 0 that is theta will be 0 to pi so now we will solve it easily so let us solve uh, we will have double integration we will have r equals to uh, 0 to 1 and theta is 0 to pi so r equals to 0 to 1 and theta is 0 to pi and x square plus y square uh, we know x equals to r cos theta y equals to r sin theta let us put it x equals to r cos theta square plus y equals to r sin theta square to the power 3 y 2 and dx dy will be r dr d theta okay so solve it r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta to the power 3 by 2 into r dr d theta and we have limits of r equals to 0 to 1 and theta equals to 0 to pi okay so uh, if we take r square common then uh, it will be uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta to the power 3 by 2 and uh, this whole power is 3 by 2 this is r dr r d theta dr okay so this is r equals to 0 to 1 theta equals to 0 to pi so this uh, will be 1 this quantity will be 1 and will be left with r square only so it is r dr d theta it is double integration so 2 2 will be cancelled out and it will be r to the power 3 into r or dr d theta and the limit uh, we can put it later then it will become r to the power 4 dr d theta so first is uh, r equals to uh, 0 to 1 and theta is uh, 0 to pi so if we integrate it uh, we have a constant limit so uh, in either order we can uh, do this so let us do r to the power 4 r to the power 4 it will be r to the power 5 by 5 and its limit is uh, 0 to 1 and uh, theta d theta will be theta its limit is 0 to pi so uh, if we solve 1 by 5 minus 0 into uh, theta minus 0 
so we get is uh, sorry it's not theta it is pi after putting the limits uh, we will get the theta equals to pi so uh, it will be a uh, pi minus 0 then uh, we will get uh, answer is uh, pi by 5 so uh, this is a uh, final answer so let us see uh, which option is correct for this so uh, we have a c option correct for this question we have c option is correct now let us move to our next question i uh, will have 48 so this is a very uh, easy question you could solve it within a second uh, this question is given that if the number bits per sample in a pcm system is increased from 16 to 17 okay so the value of n now that is number of bit is increasing from 16 to uh, 17 then uh, we are asked the improvement in signal to quantization noise ratio so uh, we know snr if uh, for the pcm if the pcm word is mentioned then by default uh, we uh, take uh, that uh, quantization is uniform quantization is uniform and also it is fully loaded also it is fully loaded and the message signal in case of PCM if nothing is mentioned we take sinusoidal that is let us say mt is am cos 2 pi of fm into t and a Nike, uh, noise we will get in this case is a del square by 12 and SNR we will get is 3 by 2 L square okay or in terms of dB if you want to write it down then it will be 1.76 plus 6 N dB so this is the SNR so it is depending on the number of bits uh, if uh, if uh, one bit is changing then uh, it will uh, give a 6 dB change in total SNR so from 16 to 17 there are one bit is changing then uh, SNR change SNR change due to one yeah, or due to a uh, one bit change due to one bit change will be 6 dB so this was the direct question the correct option for this is a B so uh, let us see next question next question will go for a 50 question so 50th the question is from the network and uh, we are given a circuit that uh, one R is connected, then L is connected. This is four ohm resistor. This is one Henry inductor, and again one resistor five ohm is connected, and one capacitor of one by thirty six farad is connected. This is C, uh, this is L, and this is R. Okay. So and uh, the voltage across this uh, combination of R and C is uh, V two, and uh, voltage across this combination of R and L is uh, V one and one battery is connected here is a sino a ac signal that is 100 cos 3t uh, where omega equals to 3 radian per second okay so the question is uh, we have to find out a ratio of amplitude of v2 by v1 so we have to find out v2 by v1 and it's mod then uh, for that uh, let us say this is a z2 this is a z1 okay so when we find find out uh, v2 uh, that will come uh, z2 by z1 plus z2 and when we find out v1 it will come is z1 by z1 plus z2 because z1 and z2 will be in so uh, let us see uh, i'm calling this uh, this combination as z2 and this combination as z1 okay so uh, since z1 and z2 is uh, in series so uh, uh, the uh, v1 and v2 we got uh, like this and if you take the ratio of it uh, that is v2 by v1 it will come out z2 by z1 because this z1 plus z2 uh, it will cancel out now our job is to find out the z2 and the z1 okay so let us find the z1 is a series combination of r and l then it will be 4 plus j omega is uh, 3 and L is 1 so it will be a 4 plus uh, 3j okay it will be a 4 plus 3j and uh, the z2 will be uh, r plus uh, 1 by uh, j omega c that is r is 5 and 1 by j omega is 3 and c is 1 by 36 so it will be a uh, 
12 then we will get z2 is 5 minus j12 okay now uh, we have to find out v2 by v1 uh, v2 by v1 will be uh, we got uh, that is z2 by z1 so z2 we got is 5 minus j12 by z1 is uh, we have a 4 plus j3 so 4 plus j3 and we have to find out its mod in that in that case we will take mod of it we will it will come out 5 square plus 12 square divided by a 4 square plus a 3 square and its root we have to take so it will be 25 and 144 it will come 169 and and 16 and 9 it will be a 25 so it will be a 13 by 5 so it will come out 2.6 so the correct option for this question is c so let us move to the next question question number question number 51 so the fifth one question is from control system uh, we are given for a control system having a 14 poles so the question number 51 we are given number of pole equals to 14 and two zeros number of zeros we are given as 2 the slope in magnitude plot for a high frequency asymptote will be we know the pole will give 20 n db per decade and that is minus and n is 14 so pole will give 14 to the 280 minus 280 db per decade slope this is the slope given by uh, poles and uh, zero are uh, zero we have a two zeros so which will give plus 20 into 2 that is a plus 40 so the overall slope we will have is a minus 20 plus 40 that is minus 240 dv per decade so the correct option for this is a b now our next question uh, we will have a 53 this is uh, from mathematics so the question is uh, we are given uh, a and b are mutually exclusive event and uh, a and b mutually exclusive it means that uh, the a and b will uh, prevent uh, simultaneous occurrence the event a will not occur if uh, b is occurring and uh, similarly if b will occur if a is not occurring okay so these are given uh, mutually exclusive it means that they will prevent simultaneous occurrence in that case we can say a intersection b will be zero and uh, we are also given that uh, probability of a union b is not zero then uh, we have to find probability of a given a union b so to solve this uh, we know this is a conditional probability and we can write it the probability of a intersection a union b upon a probability of a union b okay so if we write it a probability of a intersection a union a intersection b you can write it uh, and probability a union b we can write is a probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b but we are given this is a zero so we can write a intersection a will be a union and a intersection b okay so we will have a probability of a plus probability of b now uh, let us see what the, this will be and we are given uh, let us say this is a, a and this is a b and the intersection of this is uh, this part this is called a intersection b now uh, we uh, know a intersection b we know a so if we a if we add the a in uh, a uh, the union of this a and this a intersection will be nothing but a only this a only okay so we'll write the probability of a by probability of a plus probability of b so correct option for this is option a now uh, let us go to our uh, next problem which is a uh, 54 it is a direct question on uh, two port network uh, it is given that uh, if uh, a two port network a is cascaded with uh, another two port network b then uh, which of the following is true uh, 
we know uh, in case of uh, transmission matrix uh, or we say uh, a b c d matrix only if uh, two matrix are in cascade then uh, their transfer function will be multiplied so the total we can write uh, t a into t b in case of uh, transmission matrix only so the correct option for this is uh, c the next question is uh, question number 55 the question is uh, from the signal and uh, we have to uh, find out that the relation for a time invariant signal uh, time invariant system so uh, we know a time invariant system uh, for this what we have to find is out is uh, if uh, let us say this is a sig uh, xt input uh, this is my system and uh, this is output yt now if uh, delayed response that is uh, delayed response if i found out delayed response let us say by t naught it will be a t minus t naught if it is equals to the response for delayed input that is this is my delayed input t minus t naught and if i pass this uh, uh, with the system and the output uh, i get let us say uh, y dash t so if this y dash t is equals to the delayed response y of t minus t naught uh, in that case we say it is a time invariant otherwise it's a time variant okay now uh, to solve this question the first question uh, first option uh, we are given is uh, y of n equals to n x n so this is not correct answer because i want to give you a shortcut is that uh, generally x t is, is input and if some uh, time domain signal or some time domain uh, parameter is multiplied in this that is xt into ft equals to yt where xt is input yt is output and ft is some function of time then uh, the system will be a time variant also if uh, something is there inside uh, x that is inside x there is a some basic function in that case we say signal is linear dynamic and variant and if uh, x is inside a basic function some basic function uh, let us say sine or some square uh, some uh, cube any basic function so inside a basic function if input x is inside the basic function then we can generally say that it is a non linear it is a static and it is time invariant okay so the first uh, it is a type of uh, ft into t or xn into fn then uh, we can say by directly it is not a uh, time invariant similarly in case of uh, d the v are given yn equals to xn into cos of 2 pi f not into n so again this is a type of uh, xn into some function of n fn so again it is not time invariant and uh, the next option uh, we are given is uh, b y of n equals to x of n minus x of n minus 1 so for this if you want to check uh, uh, we can do uh, it by uh, main we have method that is uh, if we uh, delay uh, or if we delay the input and uh, then we check the response uh, it will be y of let us say it is y1 y1 and we'll get is uh, x of n minus n not minus x of n minus n not minus 1 so this is a response for delayed input and uh, if we want to uh, check for uh, delayed response so this was the response for delayed input now we want to check delayed response so if delayed response equals to a response for delayed input is, uh, then we can say it is a time invariant so let us check y of n minus n not we are delaying a response by n not so we we get uh, x of n minus n not and minus x of n minus n not minus 1 so this y of n minus n not is equals to y1 n then uh, this system is time invariant now the another option was uh, c Uh, now let us check it it is given that y of n equals to x of minus n similarly we will check it uh, this is the signal we will delay it uh, by n not that is minus n minus n not so uh, we will get 
output y n equals to let us say this is y1 we'll get is x of minus n minus n naught okay so uh, if we find found out the delayed response the delayed response in this case will be y of n minus n naught equals to x of minus n minus n naught it will be x of minus n plus n naught so uh, this uh, y delayed response is not equal to a uh, response for a delayed input so this uh, these two are not equal then we will say it is a time variant so uh, for this the correct option is b now let us move to the next question uh, which is 57 okay so the question number 57 is Uh, this is a digital communication question a digital transmission rate for a unipolar return to a zero data transmission over a optical fiber uh, 10 kilometer so it's an optical fiber question optical fiber in the optical fiber uh, what we are given is uh, uh, return to zero uh, the maximum digital uh, transmission rate for a uniform return to zero data transmission over an optical fiber uh, 10 kilometer long so the length or distance we can say it's a length we are given is a 10 kilometer and uh, scheme we are given is not return to or r z that is return to zero we are given and length is 10 kilometer and another parameter we are given is a specified a pulse spreading constant uh, let us say it is a delta t delta t we are given is a 10 nanosecond per kilometer then what we have to find out the maximum transmission rate so maximum uh, transmission rate so its formula is so if it is rz then the formula uh, maximum transition rate uh, f equals to 1 by delta t into l this is for rz uh, but if it is a non uh, nrz that not return to 0 then it will be 2 delta t into l so uh, we have to apply this formula uh, with this uh, we will get 1 by delta t is a 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 second per kilometer into l we have 10 kilometer so it will be cancel out and then we'll get 1 by 10 to the power minus 7 that is 10 to the power 7 that will be a 10 mega bits per second dps so this is a tra maximum transmission rate f maximum so for this uh, we have b option correct now next question we have is a question number 58 uh, which is again from optical fiber uh, topic the question is the core refractive index and the relative uh, refractive index difference for a multi-mode step index fiber are uh, 1.5 and 2 so uh, you know uh, the optical fiber we have uh, like this and we have a, a core and this is a cladding this is n2 this is axis of optical fiber and this is n1 okay now n1 now we are given is 1.5 and relative refractive index difference that is n1 square minus n2 square is delta that is our difference is n1 square minus n2 square by 2 n1 square that is we are given is a 2 percent it is a 0 0.02 then uh, n1 square minus n2 square will get is a 2 into 0 0.02 into a 1.5 square so that will come a 0 0.04 into a 2.25 that is a 0 0.09 okay so n1 square minus n2 square is this now next uh, the question we are given is uh, at operating wavelength of 1300 nanometer so the wavelength we are given is 1300 nanometer the approximate number of propagating mode is 1000 so number of mode we are given is 1000 and we are asked the diameter of the fiber d equals to so we know a formula that is number of mode m equals to a v square by 2 where v is a pi d numerical aperture divided by lambda 
where the numerical aperture formula we have is the root of n1 square minus n2 square okay now to put this v in this formula of m is we get m equals to pi d numerical aperture divided by lambda and 1 by 2 is there and it's square so we get 1 by 2 pi square d square and n a square upon lambda square so from this we can find d equals to root 2 m into lambda by pi n a okay so uh, n a this is nothing but n a right or it is uh, n a square so from this uh, we can find n a equals to a uh, 0 0.3 right uh, then the d will be root 2 into m is uh, 1000 and lambda we are given is uh, 1300 nanometer that is 1300 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter by uh, 3.14 into numerical aperture we have 0.3 so if you solve this you get d equals to 61.717 micrometer or it is equals to 62 micrometer so this is the diameter of fiber okay diameter of fiber core this this core we have its diameter it is there okay so the option is c and then the next question we have uh, question number 59 so it is from edc uh, the dielectric field of profile in the depletion region of p n junction in equilibrium is shown below so uh, the electric field profile we are given is like this that is this and triangle and this is x in micrometer and this is electric field in volt per centimeter and the peak electric field we are given is 10 to the power 4 and uh, this is uh, minus 0 0.1 and this x axis in micrometer so it is minus 0 0.1 micrometer and uh, this is 0 this is again here 0 0.1 and uh, here it is uh, 1 okay so the option a says uh, the left side of the junction is p type and the right side is n type no if we, we know the p and junction is there then we have a charge density it will it will have a minus q n a and this is a negative ions and this is a positive that is a plus q and d this is the charge profile okay uh, this is a distance uh, this is charge profile rho per centimeter cube and if we uh, integrate it because we know the electric field is the integration of rho by epsilon of dx then we get negative we get like this profile so if it is a p n junction then we get like this so it is not p n junction rather it is n p okay this is n p this is my minus of x n and this is x p so the a option says it is a p n and this is wrong option the b says both the n type and p type depletion region are non-uniformly doped no it is uniformly doped because then only we get uh, see uh, if it is uniformly doped then only we get the constant doping and the constant uh, profile or uh, charge profile is constant and then only if uh, we integrate it with x then only we get a linear shape of the uh, electric field otherwise we could uh, got it uh, non-linear right so yes uh, so it is a uh, uh, uniformly doped uh, right the question uh, the option c says uh, if the p type has a doping concentration of uh, 10 to the power 10 that is if n a is 10 to the power 10 per centimeter cube then the doping concentration in n uh, n type region will be 10 to the power 11 so it is saying that the is it uh, n d equals to 10 to the power 11 so let us check it uh, we know uh, n a x p this is the relation is n a x p equals to uh, n d uh, x n okay so n a we are given is uh, 10 to the power 10 and the x p is uh, this uh, this is a uh, 1 into a uh, 10 to the power minus uh, 4 in the centimeter we will write so uh, n a x p equals to n d uh, we have to find out and uh, this uh, x p uh, we are given is a minus or uh, n d and x n is uh, 0 0.1 0 0.1 into 10 to the power minus 4 so this will get cancelled and uh, the n d we will get is uh, 10 to the power 10 by uh, 0 0.1 so uh, 10 to the power 11 per centimeter cube so yes the option c is correct
so uh, let us move to the next question it is a uh, question number 60 uh, it is from uh, analog circuit uh, the question and we are given an op amp uh, this is uh, negative positive and uh, the positive terminal is uh, grounded and uh, a negative uh, we have a negative feedback that is okay this is a negative terminal and uh, feedback we have is through r2 and uh, then uh, r1 and it is grounded now with this uh, we have a feedback from output so, so this is the v output and this is r1 and uh, the battery uh, the voltage connected is the v1 and it is grounded like this and we have to find out the uh, uh, voltage gain of the amplifier okay so we have to find the v output by v in this is the v in what is this so our uh, negative feedback is connected and no positive feedback and then the virtual ground nothing is mentioned then we will say it is ideal op amp and the virtual ground concept will be valid so it is a zero volt then uh, this will also be zero volt right so uh, this is a vi this is zero volt and uh, this is v naught uh, here uh, also we will have a v naught uh, simply just apply kcl at point a okay so kcl at point a so what we get is uh, the incoming current that is vi minus 0 by r1 uh, plus another incoming current is uh, v0 minus 0 by r2 and uh, there is no current since it is ideal so the outgoing current will be a uh, 0 right so the vi by r1 uh, we get is minus v0 by r2 so from this uh, we get v0 by vi is a minus of r2 by r1 so this is a uh, gain v output by v input so the correct option for this question is a now next let's move to the next question uh, question number 61 uh, it is from uh, emt a uh, transmission line now we are given that the load zl is uh, 3 plus j4 is connected to a 10 ohm lossless line uh, so lossless line is there then uh, no attenuation then we say uh, uh, we are given that the z naught is uh, uh, 1 and the magnitude of a reflection coefficient at a load so magnitude of a reflection coefficient that is mod of gamma l we are asked and we know its formula is zl minus z naught by zl plus z naught so it is a simple uh, based on this uh, simple formula and then 3 plus j4 minus 1 by 3 plus j4 plus 1 and it will be a 2 plus j4 by uh, 4 plus j4 and uh, it will be a uh, 1 plus j2 by uh, uh, 2 plus j2 and if we take its mod then it will be a uh, root 1 plus 4 by a uh, root 4 plus 4 it will be a uh, root of uh, 2 plus j2 uh, then it will be 2 plus j4 uh, 1 plus j2 by a uh, 2 plus j2 and if i take its mod it will be a 1 plus 4 that is a root 5 and uh, and the denominator uh, we'll get is uh, uh, 8 okay so it will be a root 5 uh, that is uh, root 5 uh, by 2 root 2 so we'll get is uh, uh, 1 by 2 and root 2.5 and if we solve it we will get 0 0.79 so uh, the correct option for this is uh, b okay so uh, let us solve the next question now uh, we have a uh, 62 it is from uh, mathematics and uh, in this question number 62 we are given is uh, uh, b is a subset of a then then the options are uh, there uh, like a option is a probability of a inter or we have to find probability of a intersection b bar and we have to match with with which option it is matching okay so uh, we know that probability of a intersection b bar we can write is uh, we can write it is uh, probability of uh, a probability of a minus probability of a intersection b and uh, uh, probability of a we are given that uh, uh, b is in a so let us say this is a and uh, this is my b okay and uh, i am given b is in a and the probability of a intersection b so the part of uh, a intersection b will be uh, b itself right then the 
probability of A minus a probability of B I can write because A intersection B is nothing but B. So uh, it is uh, probability of A intersection B bar equals to probability of A minus probability of B then uh, we have a C option correct. So uh, let us move on to the next question is uh, question number 63. So Okay, so the question number 63 we have is, uh, it's a direct question, now if you know uh, the basic then uh, within a second you could mark it that uh, question is uh, the only function among the following that satisfy a Cauchy's Raman CR equation is, so the, the A option we are given is a real part of Z and uh, B we are given is uh, imaginary part of Z and uh, then the C we are given is uh, Fz equals to a Z bar and then the D or the is f z equals to sin z. So uh, we know uh, that all uh, polynomials, trinomatic polynomial is uh, sin, cos, uh, tan and e to the power z, sin z, cos z and cos hyperbolic, sin hyperbolic or uh, polynomial in z all are the uh, analytic function, right, analytic function. Then with this uh, directly we could mark this sin z but still uh, if uh, want to check then we could check it is uh, here. Uh, this real part of z is x and the imaginary part of z is y. So and this is x plus or x it is minus. It will be a x minus j y and it is a sign of x plus or iota y right and we could write is is a sin x into cos iota y plus cos x into a sin iota y. Then uh, if you if you even check for it then the CR equation is uh, del u by del x equals to uh, del u by del y and uh, del u by del y equals to a uh, minus del v by del x. So uh, v is not there uh, and if you will check then the equation won't be satisfied for this and uh, similarly not for this and uh, similarly it won't be satisfied for this also. So if you will check then you can write it in, in terms of uh, hyperbolic uh, sin x into uh, cos hyperbolic y and then it will be uh, j or uh, cos x into a sin hyperbolic y. So this is your u and uh, this is v. If you check uh, del u by del x, let us check now. So uh, the del u by del x I will write here and then you will differentiate it uh, with respect to x. So you will get uh, cos x into a cos hyperbolic y. So this is a uh, del u by del x. Now let us calculate del u by del y. So if you calculate it is you will get uh, sin x and uh, del u by del y. Uh, this is sin x uh, cos hyperbolic y and if you del u by del x, del u by del y you will do then uh, it will be uh, sin x into uh, sin hyperbolic y. Okay, sin x plus iota y, it will be sin x cos I, 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 iota y, cos x into sin y, sin x into uh, del u by del x is uh, cos x into cos hyperbolic y and uh, del u by del y will be uh, sin x into uh, sin hyperbolic y. This is a uh, del v, okay, yeah, I thought this is, uh, yeah, del u by del x equals to uh, del v by del y. So this is not uh, del v, uh, this is not del v by del y, uh, okay. So del u by del x we found, uh, found, found and uh, the del v by del y this is v, if we differentiate it with respect to y we get is uh, cos x into uh, sin hyperbolic differentiation will be a uh, cos uh, hyperbolic y. So yes uh, these two are equal and uh, similarly a uh, del u by del y if you uh, differentiate it with respect to y you get is uh, sin x into sin hyperbolic y okay and uh, minus del v by del x uh, will be uh, differentiating it with respect to x. So that will be uh, cos x differentiation will be a minus of sin x into a sin hyperbolic y. 
so this minus minus one will get cancelled out so yes so these two are equal these two are equal so in case of a sin z the cr equation are satisfied so now let us move to the next question now the question is 64 so the 64 question says uh, two channel are uh, with bit rate of uh, 150 uh, mbps mb mbps and uh, another channel have uh, 300 mbps bit rate and uh, these two channels are multiplexed and then the bit rate of a link will be so bit rate of link will be so uh, to solve this uh, let us say uh, this uh, first channel uh, will give uh, will allocate a uh, first slot of uh, let uh, let first slot of uh, first slot to a uh, first channel and uh, two slot we uh, okay for one slot we are giving to first channel and then the two slot we are giving to uh, second channel because it is a multiplex right then the, we will have a uh, three slots okay so uh, each frame uh, will have uh, each frame uh, will have then uh, three bits so we will have a uh, three uh, bits per frame okay and uh, the frame rate uh, we will have is frame rate in, uh, in one slot uh, we are assigning it for uh, one mbps one then uh, the frame rate will be uh, 150 into a mega that is 10 to the power 6 it is a frames per second then the bit rate if we find out bit rate the rb will be 150 into 10 to the power 6 frames per second into 3 bits are in each frame so this frame frame gets cancelled out and uh, we get 150 into 10 to the power 6 into a uh, 3 bits per second so it will be a 450 mega bps so this is the bit rate of uh, link when two channels are uh, multiplexed so uh, now let us move to uh, the next question uh, it is a uh, question number uh, 65 so it is from the digital the question says a number of flip-flops required for designing a synchronous counter having five states so the mod is we are given five or it is question number 65 so mod value we are given is five it is synchronous counter that is all flip-flop are synchronized with the same clock and we are given the states are it went zero to one then six then ten then four and we have to find out number of flip-flop so a number of uh, flip flops will be uh, greater than equals to a log 2 of maximum count maximum count plus 1 so this is the formula to uh, find out number of flip flops used in uh, counter then uh, it will be greater than equals to log 2 of uh, the maximum count is a 10 and a 10 plus 1 so it will come out to log 2 of 11 that is a uh, greater than if you, if you uh, well, uh, find its value then uh, it will be uh, log 10 of 11 will be a uh, 3.56 so n will be an integer then n has to be 4 so the correct answer for this question is uh, c okay so uh, let us move to our next problem it's a uh, question number 66 so uh, in the 66 question uh, it is from digital again that, that we have given uh, the resolution of a 9 bit dac so we are given a dac and the number of bits is a 9 and uh, which gave a maximum output so we are given a maximum output maximum output or a full scale output we can say is a 5.12 volt then uh, what we are asked is a resolution so we know uh, the resolution in case of DAC is uh, full scale output voltage wise 2 to the power n minus 1. So uh, 5.12 upon uh, 2 to the power 9 minus 1. It is a uh, 5.12 by uh, 512 minus 1. So it is a 5. It is a 5.12 by uh, 511. So if you uh, divide it, uh, you get. Uh, uh, 0 0.0100 so uh, if you it will be a 10 milli 10 millivolt 
so the correct option for this is a so let's move to the next question it is a 67 question it is a direct question if you know the concept so uh, the question says uh, the dopant okay it's not clear yeah question is the dopant are introduced in the active area of the silicon by using which process metallization no it's uh, ic fabrication uh, process and next is ion implantation yeah it is one of uh, the process to uh, uh, introduce uh, the dopants so yes uh, the ion implantation will be correct answer again we have uh, another option uh, cvd chemical vapor deposition so it's another uh, ic fabrication part so it's not correct so uh, b option is correct so again uh, next question we have is uh, it it says uh, we have a uh, uh, three bit uh, gray counter is used okay so what we are given is it's a three bit gray counter okay and uh, from here we are giving it a clock and uh, its output is a2 a1 and a0 which are going to a mux that is a 4 is to mux we are given and its output uh, this is its output and uh, one resistor r is connected then now uh, plus 5 volt uh, voltage is connected and we have to ask uh, at output what uh, the sequence will be generated okay so this a naught is uh, uh, this is 4 is to 1 then uh, it will have a 4 output is r0 this is i1 uh, this is i2 and this is i3 and this a0 uh, is uh, connected uh, to this uh, there is a signal active low enable signal and uh, this i0 i1 i2 is connected to uh, this is a 0 1 2 and 3 and selection line uh, here uh, two selection line that is f0 and s1 are connected to this a1 is connected to uh, s0 and this msb s1 is connected to a2 so uh, this is uh, the, the question we are given and uh, we have to uh, find out uh, and uh, one more information we are given is uh, the output is pulled high so this output is high when when uh, multiplexer is not enabled it means that then uh, enable signal that is e and bar is not enabled it means it's active low so when it will be uh, active then when it is low so when it is low it will be active but they are saying that the output is high when it is uh, not enabled it means that it is one see it is one then it won't be enabled and if it is zero because it is active low so if it is zero then only it will be enabled so uh, output is high when e and uh, bar is one so uh, we, now we have to find out output uh, the output of the circuit follows the sequence so which uh, sequence in the four option we are given so we have to find out which sequence so uh, let us check first the uh, what will be my a2 a1 a2 a1 and a0 so this is a three bit gray code and uh, we know a three bit gray code is a 0 0 0 1 and then 0 0 0 1 and 1 0 1 1 and uh, this if you take its mirror image it will be a 1 0 1 1 and 0 1 0 0 and for this uh, four time it will be 0 0 and then it will be 1 1 so uh, how did i write it, it is, uh, you have to say or uh, if you write 0 then you will have to take here its mirror image 1 0 and uh, again uh, its mirror image you have to take 0 1 and uh, here you will take mirror image and and for upper part you will put 0 0 then for bottom part you will put 1 1 Similarly, uh, for here uh, you will take its mirror image, two bit mirror image. This entire portion will be uh, copied in, in the bottom, and, and for upper portion, uh, in front of upper portion, you have to write zero zero all, and, and the bottom portion in front you have to write one one. So this is how we write uh, gray code. So we got a two, a zero, and a one. And now, uh, now we have to. Uh, okay, let me raise it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we got a uh, gray code and, and then we have to find out uh, output for this mux okay so the output let us say it is a y the y uh, it will be uh, if we take uh, okay uh, let us say this is a y this is my output y and what we are given in the question is uh, output is high when enable bar is 1 it means that when enable is 0 okay when enable is 0 so uh, enable bar is a0 so when a0 is 1 then we'll have output high 
so let us see uh, the here a0 is 1 uh, here we will have output high and here a0 1 uh, here also we will have output high and here output high here output high in the remaining case uh, we will choose is output from the mux so uh, when uh, a1 a2 a2 a1 when it is 0 0 it is uh, we, uh, we know output but uh, no it is 0 and a0 is 1 uh, so i wrote it wrong this is not one here when enable bar that is a0 is 1 here a0 is 1 okay i wrote it wrong okay so when uh, enable bar is 1 that is when a0 is 1 then only we will get output 1 so let us check when a0 is 1 so here it is 1 uh, here 1 and here and here so here we will get output 1 1 1 and uh, 1 1 in the remaining uh, part uh, we will check uh, from mux so mux uh, uh, selection line a2 a1 uh, when it is 0 0 we uh, will get i0 and uh, when it is uh, uh, 0 1 then we will get uh, i1 and when it is 1 1 uh, we will get i3 and when it is 1 0 we will get i2 so uh, the out at output the sequence uh, we will get is i0 uh, 1 1 i1 and i3 1 1 and i2 so uh, correct option for this is i0 uh, 1 1 uh, i1 this is i1 this is i1 then i3 1 1 and i2 so the correct option for this is a now uh, let's move to another problem it is uh, problem number 70 yeah, it's a direct uh, question it says in the differential encoding the uh, blank uh, difference between the waveform in measured waveform is measured so it's a face it is uh, generally used in the psk signals so uh, face it is c option is correct the different the differential encoding in differential encoding is generally it is used in psk q psk APSK so the phase shift so the phase difference uh, is huge so the next question is uh, 71 it is from analog uh, question says the emitter resistance stabilize the cupent as it uh, makes base emitter voltage constant or it reduce base emitter uh, voltage or it uh, increase the base emitter voltage so uh, to solve this uh, you know when the, we have RE this is a common emitter and one RC is there and one VCC and let us say one RD and it is connected this, this is this is the circuit okay when we are using RE in the circuit so uh, we have to tell uh, what will happen of VBE that is this voltage what will happen VBE the emitter resistance stabilize the Q point this emitter is stabilizing this uh, Q its Q point its uh, transistor Q point then what will happen uh, VBE increase decrease constant or uh, something else so uh, you know when the, the, the temperature is increased then the current is flowing is IC and here the current is flowing IE you know when temperature is increasing then uh, IC we know uh, for common emitter is IC equals to beta time IB plus beta plus one time ICBO so this is a uh, reverse uh, current and uh, the reverse current depend on temperature uh, when this icbo increase then uh, ic increase when ic increase then uh, this ie which is flowing in re it will increase and when it will increase then uh, voltage drop across this uh, re let us call it ve so ve will increase okay then uh, what about this uh, base uh, this base vb is uh, constant because we are applying some biasing there and we will make it uh, constant so when vb is a constant then uh, ve is increasing then what will happen vbe that is a vb minus ve when this is a constant and v increasing then a vbe will uh, decrease when vbe is uh, decreasing then uh, with this uh, what will happen is uh, uh, vbe is increasing then uh, ib the current flowing in base ib will uh, decrease and we know ic is depending on ib then uh, ic will decrease and it will uh, bring back uh, q point to uh, stabilization okay since ic was increasing and we made a feedback this R re is working as a feedback 
so it will stabilize a q point so in the question what we were asked was uh, what about the base emitter voltage so it is uh, vbe is decreasing so the correct option is uh, reduce base emitter voltage so uh, b option will be correct so uh, let us move to the next question it is a uh, 73 so a uh, question number 73 is uh, uh, what we are given is the impulse response HT of a filter uh, matched to an input pulse ST. Okay, so uh, the HT uh, uh, we are given is uh, this is my okay. So this is my ST is given and uh, it is uh, T and 0 and we have to ask the uh, match filter. Uh, the impulse response of match filter, you know, when the if you uh, take its uh, time reversal let's take it time reversal to find out h of t so it's taking time reversal it will be minus t and it is s of minus t and now shift it by the duration of the pulse that is t if you shift it by t you will get s of t minus t that is this it is t zero and this is t so uh, the ht is uh, s of t minus t so this will be a uh, st so the correct option uh, with this is uh, b now let's uh, move to the next question uh, it is uh, 73 okay so uh, let's uh, keep it here in the part 1 and uh, we will uh, do the remaining question in the part 2 so uh, this is all about uh, the part 1 and if you like the video then uh, hit on the bat, uh, like button and uh, if you are new to the channel then you, give some, you can subscribe it uh, to get more updates like this so I will meet you in the next uh, video with the part 2 thank you